Hey all welcome back once again to my YouTube class guys I'm Manjit Rawat your online instructor this is another session of VMA virtualization and in this session I'm going to help you how we can take the backup of our vCenter server right so this is our agenda so we'll try to understand each and every step like uh, about the prerequisites and also we'll discuss about the procedure how we can take the backup of vCenter server and how we can uh, establish a restore as well because you know that if you want to protect your vCenter server environment so we must need to take the backup so let me explain you about the theoretical part first and after that we'll access the inventory uh, we'll access the management of vCenter services and after that we'll discuss about how we can proceed to take the backup uh, as per the name suggests, if we talk about the backup services, so we have a various way to take the backup. But before that, I just wanted to know, I just wanted to define the setup that I created for the backup for the vCenter server. So in my case, what I did, I have uh, installed uh, one ESXi host, right? The ESXi host IP address is 192.168.1.9. This is our ESXi host IP. And... Uh, uh, in same ESXi, we configured uh, one vCenter server, means with the help of uh, uh, OA, you can say that we have already installed vCenter server in, in same ESXi. So our ESXi, our vCenter server IP address that I configured, it's uh, 192.168.1.125, right? This is the IP address of our vCenter server. and. Uh, now we are planning to configure we are planning to take the backup of entire services which is running in this vcenter server vcenter uh, server right and uh, this is our esxi host over our esxi host we establish our vcenter services and now we are responsible to configure the backup so we have a various way like as uh, you can configure backup without any tool right without any tool in the sense like as a you don't want to use any kind of third party tool and second you can configure your backup with the help of third party tool so we have a both way you can configure your backup services without third party tool and uh, second you can configure with the help of a, a third party tool so i'm going to show you the step how we can configure without using any kind of uh, tool so let's talk about the uh, method so in this case what you need to do the prerequisites are uh, configure network storage right it's mandatory so in case of network storage you can set up a storage by uh, choosing of uh, uh, FTP HTTPS ISKZ we have a various way because you know that in storage services we already discussed we have a n number of protocols those protocols can help us to manage the shared storage so to establish the backup of your vCenter server, we must need to configure uh, at least one shared storage, one network storage. It's fully depend upon you. You can set up uh, storage by using FTP, HTTPS, ISKZ, right? And uh, you can also configure through FC, fiber channel. It's fully depend upon you. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to establish our shared storage by selecting the option of FTP means uh, we will establish our backup. We will establish our network storage location by choosing the option of FTP. So I'm going to set up our backup of vCenter server without using any third party tool because I'll guide you. I'll uh, share uh, uh, another video based on the third party tool like with the help of Vim backup, how we can take the backup of our vCenter server. So we will discuss about uh, uh, how to configure vCenter server backup with the help of Vim. So I'll, I, I need to create a separate video. But for now, I'm just going to show you the step to configure the vCenter server backup without third party tool by using the features which is available in our normal windows operating system right so in this case uh, first of all you need to access our vcenter server uh, not inventory uh, page you need to access your vcenter server by selecting the option of uh, what we can say that management vcenter server management portal so this is our agenda just give me one minute okay so uh, uh, I'm just going to establish so one FTP service, which is really important. You know that. So I have already installed v, uh, Server 2012 and we will configure the FTP storage in our uh, uh, Server 2012. So this is our server computer, right? And the server IP address is, I think, uh, it's a 192.168.1.13, right? We will make it, 
we will configure FTP on this particular machine. Right, we will configure the FTP services on this particular machine and we'll use it as a network storage. And after that, we'll configure the backup of our vCenter server and put the uh, entire backup data in FTP. I hope you'll, uh, all of you are able to understand about the concept and prerequisite to establish our uh, vCenter server backup without third party tool. Second important part, as we discussed, uh, our vCenter server IP address is 125. I'm just going to access our vCenter server. So for this particular task, you just need to open any browser, type 192.168.1.125, means your vCenter server IP address, colon, and you must need to type the name, uh, you must need to type the uh, logical port, like 5480, this is the logical port for uh, uh, vCenter server management wizard. You just need to press enter. Let me access it again. 125 colon 5480 right it will redirect you on the page of vcenter server management wizard and uh, over a management wizard we will find the option of backup how to take the backup of our vcenter services so wait for a few minutes maybe it will take time because just i just uh, started my vcenter server so maybe it will take one or two minutes colon 5480 make sure your system is should be must be connected communicating with the vcenter server ip address so let me check ping space 192.168.1.125 we are getting a reply from our server side right Okay, it will take time. So let me pause the video and connect again. Now we successfully connected our vCenter server uh, using the vCenter server management wizard because you know that uh, whenever we try to access our vCenter services, we have a two different way to connect. One, you can connect directly to the uh, 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 inventory page where we can manage the clone, template, HADRS kind of thing. But uh, VMware established another page to understand and uh, configure the management issues related to the vCenter server. So for this particular task, what you need to do, whenever we proceed with logical port 5480, it will redirect you on page of vCenter server management. But if you put the 443, it will redirect you on page of inventory, right? So now we are uh, on page of vCenter server management and we are able to find a number of options are available that we have already discussed. And uh, now we are able to find one option is uh, considered as a backup, right? Just need to click backup. Under the backup, although I have already created a one backup with the help of uh, FTP, but I'm going to show you the proper step how you can manage the backup services properly, right? So let me remove the existing backup and try to create a new backup again. To configure a new backup, just need to click backup uh, configure. And in case of configuration, it will ask you like, uh, you must need to provide the information about your share storage. So if we talk about the supported uh, protocol, so FTPS, SDTPS, S, uh, SFTP, FTP, NSF, NFS, SMB, and SDTP, right? So these all are the protocols that can help us to um, uh, access the shared storage or network storage. So what I need to do, I have already installed server operating system that we discussed. This is our server 2012. And uh, we need to install internet information services it's a really basic step that you need to use to install the uh, IAS just need to click add role and features next 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 and we just need to find the roles web server IIS in my system we have already installed I have already installed the internet information services so just need to proceed for next step click tools under the tools, we are able to find multiple options. You just need to click uh, Internet Information Services, 
manager internet uh, information service and manager it will redirect you on the page of this particular just need to click on your computer name and under the computer name we are able to find one option is sites right so i'm going to create a new sites right click and click add website and add ftp site so for the ftp site what you need to do you just need to create at least one share storage not a share storage you just need to create a one share folder so in my uh, uh, server operating system i have a e drive the which is contain up to 19.5 gig of space so you just need to create one folder with any name like uh, in our case i'm just going to proceed with ftp right click go to the properties under the properties click sharing advanced sharing share this folder permissions and allow for everyone yes i want to apply uh, configure the policy for everyone click apply and okay apply okay again now we successfully shared the location of our share folder you also need to verify the ip address so as we discussed the ip address of this machine is uh, 1.13 right so we will access our system with the help of 1.13 cool back to the ftp S click sites under the site click uh, add ftp site type the name of your site like uh, i'm going to proceed with name of uh, v center backup right this is the site name provide the physical path the meaning of physical path you need to assign the shared storage location so we created our shared storage file in drive letter e ftp click okay we successfully provide the path of our ftp file click okay uh ip address unassigned so you just need to assign the ip address this is 13 your ip address port number is 21 not ssl required click next next nms and basics allow the access for every user i don't want to configure any kind of user policy and make sure it's a read and write means you must contain the both higher uh, 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 authority read and write just click finish now we just created but unfortunately it's a stop just need to click start okay another port folder is also available so let me remove the existing one okay need to restart it's started right we center hyphen backup underscore backup uh, the site that you created so this is our location of ftp very basic is, is step that you need to use to configure the backup again back to the inventory page not inventory we center server management port and here you need to provide the detail of your we center server so ftp is our protocol colon double slash type the ip address 192.168.1.13 correct and uh, if you want to provide the name of your share folder so you can do that ftp username and password of your computer computer in the sense the network computer so i'm just going to put the username administrator and the password that you used i don't want to encrypt it uh, no need to make any changes click create fine so we successfully created uh, uh we successfully added the port for our ftp just need to do one more part click backup now everything is okay provide the ftp that you configured and just wait for a few minute provide the credential like username and password administrator and password that you can uh, use to configure the backup of your v center server and as we know that we establish a location in our d drive uh, 
so you you will be get the entire files means it, it will take time because it just is started so it will take time uh, once your backup is ready we will proceed for the restore option so that's it guys this is all for the vcenter server backup and in next session we will discuss about how to configure the restore how we can restore the vcenter server so thank you so much take care and please do subscribe your teach me cloud youtube channel bye bye